How to use gradient tool in Photoshop. You can find the gradient tool in Photoshop under this icon. Right click on this and click on this and it will activate the gradient tool. So gradient tool creates a, creates a gradual blend between colors. So let's say I'm going to activate this. As of now we have this color. So I'm going to click on this and drag it. You can create a short line here or a bigger line. The result will vary with that uh, result. So I'm going to activate this kind of, of gradient, which is linear gradient. And I'm going to create, create this line and it will create a linear gradient. And I'm, if I'm going to click this radial gradient, it will create a radial gradient. So I'm going to create a new layer and it will create this uh, radial gradient. So that's the, what, there are five types of gradient here. Under the gradient tool, the linear gradient, let me, let me turn off this layer. It will create a linear gradient, Ctrl Z. If you hover like this, it will create that opposite way or the other way here. So that's linear gradient. Radial gradient, uh, radial gradient it will create a, a, a radial shape of gradient. And for this one is ang angle gradient, it will create an angle gradient of this. This one. So that's angle gradient. Let's create another one for this type, which is reflected gradient. Reflected gradient, it will reflect what the other gradient over here, and it will reflect to the other side. Ctrl Z. So you can choose a different position. You can hold Shift to create a straight uh, line of uh, providing your gradient. So you can do that. Also, straight. you can hold Shift here. So that's how you create the or use the gradient tool in Photoshop. There's also another diamond gradient here. Depending on the color you, you choose, so it will create that gradient on that color. But you can choose over here a different kind of uh, gradient color. For a basic, it will take your color of color over here. Let's say I'm going to choose orange, and it will create a gradient of that orange. See, let's create that. Uh, you can combine also different kind of uh, gradient. Uh, orientation let's say for this I I have a, a gradient of diamond gradient and the, the linear gradient you can also add the radial gradient here so you can you can combine in a same layer so I'm going to add an angular gradient or you can mix different color of gradient say green we'll add here so you can mixture the gradient colors so let's turn this off and I will create new. Click on this to create new layer. So we will experiment with the gradient tool. You can also choose like a, a predefined gradient here, like blue, blue colors. So you can have, you can make that. Let's turn this off, create a new layer. So you can have or create a blue gradient. And let's try this another. There's a lot of here, let's say purples. You can let me resize this. You can choose purple or blue. Also pink here, predefined. So if you want to if you want to create some backgrounds for our pink color like this, you can do this with the gradient tool. Let's create another. So there's red also here. Orange. Cloud. There's a lot of here. So if you are editing the clouds and you want to add some gradient color on the clouds you can add this let's say for a sun you want to add some flare on the sun you can choose the gradient of the orange 
say I have this uh, one image I want to add let's say an effect of array of the Sun so I can add a, a gradient tool I can use the gradient tool with the effect of the orange here I will create new layer and start from this to down it will create that orange color you can reduce the opacity so I'm going to reduce to 50 or let's say 10 so this is the before and the after also you can blend your gradient when you click on this blending mode select the layer and choose the blending select the layer and click on the blending mode drop the drop down and choose the multiply and it will blend with that image and you can always adjust your opacity say I'm going to add this or make it 10 so this is the before and the after you can also add different kind of colors let's say let's add green and reduce its opacity let's say 10 so you can mix two colors or two gradient so I'm going to group this let's make this uh, multiply or let's say leave it uh, normal so it, it's, it looks like it looks good on this one so let's group this click on this and hold shift and click the, the below and press ctrl G to group it as you can see if I turn this group off you can see the the original image which is without the, the gradient this is the before and this is the after you can also find the under the window you can find the gradient you can find the gradient here so you can also add or check from here or if you want to be whatever on your workspace to see so what you want to add here you can do that way you can also add it here so you have let's say if you are working with multi gradient colors you can do that way This is the before and the after. Let's add some pink on here. Control Z. I will create a new layer. And I will add some pink here. And reduce the opacity to 10. And it will mix that color. I will add this, drag this to the, to the group to see the before and after. So this is the after. So you can do that way. The, this is the before and the after you can do that way also you can adjust the opacity on the gradient tool you can reverse the gradient tool let's say the starting is orange for this let's say for the starting color is pink you can reverse this and it will start to from the other color or reverse the color so yeah, this is the somehow violet here if I'm going to control Z and reverse this and it will create a reverse color so that's gradient tool in Photoshop I hope this video tutorial helps you and if you've gone through the tutorial and found difficulties don't forget to comment below so I can assist you and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching